I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Dr. Heavily discussed dental work while cooking with Gosha Hawkins. They say come to Paris the next couple's trip. Okay. Shit, if they gonna pay for it, I'm trying to go, but they ain't trying to take us nowhere out of the country. Would <laughs> y'all, y'all be over there arguing? On the Eiffel Tower. When somebody pushed me off it. <laughs> <laughs> Baltimore. What are the kinds of dentures? Dentures, the kinds of dentures is this. Dentures come in and out. Like you can pull them out. Like you could just take them out and take them out and do whatever it is you do. Most people don't want dentures. Dentures are like the cheaper version. If you can't afford the implants like or the, used to have the grandmama used to so cut damn ditches in yep. a cup. Like to yep. me, if that's all you can get, that's all you can get, and they fine for that. But a lot of people can't wear ditches, mainly in the mandibular arch on the lower arch. There's usually not any mo much bone, especially if you've been without teeth for a while. The bone resorbs, so you really ain't got too much to hold on to. So then we put the implants down there and we screw in our teeth. And that's what we call a heavenly smile of the day, all on four, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, dentures just come in and out. I mean, I take an impression we might do a wax bite, then we try them in, make sure they look good, and then I process them to finish a denture. They look good, but sometimes you get the people that maybe my dish is not mine because I use custom trays and we reline. But sometimes you get a denture too loud, you could be laughing real hard, and them brother tuckers fall out. You do not want no dentures, okay? But I see people when they all the time, and it's just me. I can tell when you got dentures because the shit be moving. When they be talking shit to me, like, I be like, damn, her, her teeth move. And, and you know, and that's the first thing I look at. So dentures, they're less expensive, first of all, but they come in and out. They're not fixed, okay? If you get crowns, bridge work, implants, when you're missing teeth, you want implants so you can get them fixed. And then we do an all on four. All on four really saves you time and it saves you money. Because sometimes people come in, like if Goshe came in, and she didn't have no any teeth. She was completely indentured, but she didn't have any teeth, right? Each of her restaurants make $5 million. So I've been doing that. And I said, okay, we don't want to do a all of four. What we're going to do is 12 implants at the top, 12 implants at the bottom. How much do the implants run each? About $7,000, right? So it'll be $49,000 for the top, $49,000 for the top. So that's $100,000. If she need bones and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? She might need. So it might be a little bit around hundred grand for separate implants. All on fours are designed to save you time and to save you money. Basically, what we do is we put four implants at the top. We actually make you what we call a hybrid. It's a hybrid between a denture and a, and a, and a, and a bridge. And we actually fit that hybrid in and we screw it in. Y'all see me do it. Look on my page, Smiles by Dr. Heavenly. Everything smiles by Dr. Heavenly. And then you can go to drheavenly.com for all my stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's the difference. And then I talk to you. Shit, we all about Goshe right now. Why am I talking about dental stuff? Why y'all asking me about that? We talk about, we talk about Goshe. Used to go to her restaurant all the time. Dance my ass off. You got a dance floor in your, in your restaurant? Huh? They say you used to dance in your restaurant. They some all that tapas? I don't know. She said she used to dance her ass off. Hmm. My favorite lady, I'm, I'm getting an implant. Oil pulling. I don't know. I don't know too much about oil pulling. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know any, any much about that. I say come in, get your deep cleaning. We do have special medicated rinses. <laughs> Heavenly smile is what I need. Come on in, baby. I got it for you. I got some more down there, baby. They got some more. <laughs> I heard implants hurt. No. You know anybody got the implants? Uh, my friend just got some. Do they hurt? He, don't, he said it a little bit. I mean, he initially, them, initially, you know, if I'm putting a nickel titanium screw into your bone, a little bit, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. We give you pain pills for that, antibiotics. But after about two, two, three days, usually, usually, the implants are, 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 are fine. You know what I'm saying? He just hurt because he had to get all his teeth pulled, and oh. then they put it. So the extraction is what's hurting yeah. him. The extraction, yeah. pulling the tooth out is what's hurting him, but it'll heal. Give it two, three days, take your pain pills, it's good. This tree don't really hurt. And when we do our all on four, sometimes the surgery takes a little bit longer. We time our anesthesia, so we actually give you more anesthesia before it wears off, so you don't feel anything. We actually cater to cowards. We got people that come in and can, the anesthesiologists we bring in to put you all the way to sleep. 
if that's what you want. Oh, we got Valium, we got nitrous oxide, whatever. Nitrous is going to put you out anyway. I'd rather you not go all the way to sleep so I can actually have you bite so I can see your bite so you're up when I'm doing the surgery. Anyway, long story short, how we get on this? You had a karaoke night? Why you invite me? Thursday. I want to do that. I want to do karaoke. You can't even come outside that time of night. What time is it? Start at 7 o'clock. I can't come out at 7? Damn, I'm, I'm locked up, ain't it? I can't come out. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. He said he got 14 implants. The pain is minimal. Now, we're talking about go shave restaurant, okay? <laughs> Heavenly, what are you wearing? My t-shirt? It says I'm going to say this and I'm going to take it back, Okay. All of us cost between twenty-eight thousand to thirty-two thousand per arch, so it's saving you a lot of money. So instead of being over a hundred thousand, you're still just spending like sixty, sixty-four, something like that. Okay. They can say, you get gold? On, can you get gold if you get implants? In yeah, there? we can do whatever. We can add. We can add gold. Yes. Thought about having practices in other states? No. You know, I did that. I had nine dental practices, y'all. I done did it, baby. I feel like I'm semi-retired with that. I could work three days a week. I ain't got to worry about it. But I had nine dental practices. Don't get me wrong. Money was flowing. But if the headache was too, man, my hair was falling out. Shit. I had nine doctors working for me. I had a, a pediatric dentist, an oil surgeon, an endodontist, all those specialties in my practice. And I'm telling you, we are making the money, but it's a lot of work. You know, people talk about it, it's a lot. Mm. It was a lot. So praise God. We're going to thank Jesus, okay? Yes, healthy teeth is a must before veneers. Yes, but if you have decay, sometimes we can remove the decay when we're doing veneer prep, okay? And sometimes we'll rather than doing veneers, we'll do cosmetic crowns. Cosmetic crowns is what I, what I have, cosmetic crowns, okay? The crowns, a veneer covers the front of the tooth, just like a veneer on a cabinet covers the front, but a crown covers the front and the back. So, I, you know, sometimes I just opt, opt to cover the whole tooth rather than just front, the front tooth. Mm -hmm. Tell go say Shardo said, hey. Hey, Shadow, I know you, baby. She said you got. He said you got the best restaurant in Atlanta. Hey, Shadow. Do you have implants? No, I don't have any implants. I don't. I need my teeth done. Come on through, baby. I told you, my friend, you could have twenty percent off payment plans. Yes, uh, we do have financing. Listen, we ain't come here to talk about that. We ain't come here to talk about that. What are we cooking next? We done. We done. We done. We done. You got to come in we next time. Ate. We done cooked. We done cooked. We done ate. We had a salmon. We had guapos. No, 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 no. How long y'all want to go with this? How much for the crowns? I think the crowns are 2300 each. 2300 Thank you. I appreciate it. Composite veneers. I told you I don't like composite veneers. The first part is they don't last as long. They don't last as long. They're just a covering over your tooth, like a composite. And it's a resin made out of like plastics over your tooth. So it's a cheaper route to go. So it's less expensive. That's one of the pros. But the cons is it don't last as long. Like a, a composite veneer may last three to five years. When you have a, a, a porcelain or a, 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 a porcelain veneer that may last, ceramics last probably, they can last a lifetime. 10, 15 years to lifetime. So you, it's an investment for your teeth. You know what I'm saying? If composites is what you can get, get it. But the problem with composites is they stain. The composite will stain dark liquids, uh, smoke is You get recurrent decay because a lot of times the margins, which I've seen, the margins are not closed and they have decay on around the margins of the composite crown. I mean, the uh, composite veneers. And then those texts do the, and, and they don't have any training. So when the margins open and the food is seeping in there, sugar is seeping in there, and you, your, your tooth becomes decayed, what is that? Come on now. Go to a dentist, y'all. Get we, we went to school a long time to make sure you're okay, okay? First of all, we check your medical history. That's important when you're getting dental work done because there's bacteremias in the mouth that could go to your heart. Y'all know this. I ain't going to go there with y'all. What's good at what's good Gaucher's restaurant? Where are Gaucher's restaurants? Can you come here? Yeah, everything is good. Like, I'm not one of those people who be like, yeah, everything's good, but really, everything's good. We don't have anything bad on the menu, but we have one on Cascade, 3695 Cascade Road, Atlanta. We got uh, Fayetteville, Georgia, which is 834 Glen Street, uh, Fayetteville, Georgia. Then we have 5829 Camelton Road, Atlanta, Georgia. And we have our food truck. We have a Atlantic Station opening. We have a shared kitchen space opening, O'O National. 
And um, we're expanding Cascade. Moving and shaking, yeah. baby. What and days are you at the restaurant? restaurant? We have another restaurant on 410 Industrial that we're opening, which is going to be a buffet. And we're working on that one as well. Wow. That's damn the tip restaurant. Say the good shit. That's, that's it. That'll be seven. Seven. Wow, wow, wow. Is there anything you want to leave the people with? Well, we just want them to follow us at Gaucher's Breakfast Bar. Um, and then also you can follow Gaucher Hawkins, which is my personal page. But outside of that, Gaucher's Breakfast Bar or Gaucher's Tapas Bar. And you can find the products at GaucherSBreakfastBar.com. Somebody said they need a job. How can they get a job? Hey, GaucherSBreakfastBar.com. You can fill out an application on, on the website. That's what I'm talking about. She got it all there for you. A job, some fish, some grits, some shrimp. Catering. Catering. Food truck, truck, whatever. Food, truck party times, shared space, all that and more. Gaucher's Breakfast Bar. All right. Thank Bye, y'all. Goodbye. Y'all have a great day. Yay. And I'm going to share this. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.